When you think of Volvo, you think usually of a very luxurious, safe and well vanilla mobile. It's not the first word when it comes to performance. When you think of European performance sedans, cars like the BMW M3, Audi RS5 or even the Mercedes C63 AMG is what comes to your mind. And for India, it's cars like the M340i or the Audi S5. But there was a car introduced by Volvo which well was kind of the competitor for these cars that I just mentioned and it was the Volvo S60 Polestar. Now let me tell you what makes the S60 Polestar so special. Well first of all there are only 1500 units ever sold globally and out of those 1500 units only 30 units came to India and well this is one of the 30 units that has ever touched our shows. Now when it comes to the aesthetics of the S60 Polestar, Volvo has done a couple of tweaks to the exterior to make it look just a little bit more aggressive. Well first of all are the rims, they are massive 20 inch rims and they look absolutely amazing. The car sits a little bit lower than the normal S60, that's of course for performance and handling and all of that stuff. And when it comes to the cosmetic mods, well the S60 Polestar has a front splitter, it has uh, some real aerodynamic channels to cool the brakes and just make the airflow a little bit smoother it has some side skirts a very prominent diffuser two exhaust tips and a big fat boot lip spoiler and all of this comes together to make the s60 polestar just that little bit more aggressive but it still is very understated but in this particular spec it stands out quite a lot because this is the iconic polestar blue that everyone knows and loves now apart from the limited units that were sold globally and even in India, there was another special reason to what makes the Polestar so desirable and that's because this is one of the few cars to get something called a twin charged engine. Now a twin charged engine is basically an engine which gets a supercharger and a turbocharger. So you get both of the advantages of both of those sort of mechanisms. So this is a 2 litre twin charged 4 cylinder engine. So the 2 litre 4 cylinder engine has a supercharger and a turbocharger charger the supercharger basically fills out the low end of the rpm range so that you have tons of power and tons of torque and once the turbo gets pulled up at around 3000 3800 rpm that's when the real power of the turbo can be felt so it feels like a naturally aspirated car but these two mechanisms actually give you that extra oomph that you would want from a na engine and now if you combine both of these mechanisms and the 2 liter 4 cylinder this thing produces 367 horsepower and well over 400 newton meters of torque and the best part is that it can put down all of that power super efficiently because it's made it to an all-wheel drive system via an 8-speed torque converter gearbox now in the interior the s60 polestar is futuristic yet analog in a weird way all of the interior is very futuristic in terms of its instrument cluster. It has this amazing looking uh, digital instrument cluster which glows red because it's the Polestar. And then you have this very nice and very usable infotainment screen. But once you come down to the center console where all of the AC controls are located, it's a very distinct and unique way of portraying and a very intuitive way of using the AC controls. And it just looks really cool. And then you have Polestar written all over these random places and the seats are absolutely amazing. They are leather and suede and they are ventilated. Now driving the S60 Polestar, well even if the number suggests that it produces 367 horsepower, it weirdly doesn't feel like that much. Now don't get me wrong, it's a very fast car and I'm pretty sure it'll keep up with all of the other German counterparts that this thing has. But it just doesn't feel that way because of the twin charged engine. It feels very naturally aspirated and you don't hear a lot of exhaust note inside the interior. It's a very luxurious and subtle performance car. It's not a very aggressive, angry performance car like an M340i for example. Now the 8 speed torque converter gearbox is weirdly very responsive. I was not expecting the gearbox to be that responsive and intuitive to use especially via the paddles but weirdly it was completely the opposite. 
every time I touched the paddle, it used to downshift, upshift, whatever I used to do, it used to listen to it. And moreover, the touch and feel of the paddles was just great. And I just loved the way the gearbox used to respond to my inputs. Now the S60 Pulsar also has to think about the Volvo part of its name and that's where the suspension comes in. It's a very compliant ride. Yes, it might be a little bit more stiff than the S60, the normal S60, but overall it's a very comfortable ride. It just wafts along the road and especially if you compare it to something like the modern M340i that we have, it's a very easy to drive car. It doesn't do any sort of drama and especially since it's so quiet, it feels just like any other luxury car on the road. That is until you put your foot flat to the floor. Now overall the S60 Pulsar was a very enjoyable experience. I actually enjoyed driving this car, especially since it's such a rare beast. Now if you ask me, it's not really my cup of tea. I would take an Audi S4 or an M340i over the Polestar any day of the week. But I can see why someone could buy and would buy the S60 Polestar. It's because you want to be unique, you want to be different and well you don't want to compromise on stuff like ride quality and just safety because Volvo it's known for safety and a weird and interesting fact about this particular Polestar is that the owner his name is Druva and that means North Star and Polestar North Star you get my point right so that's a really cool story and yeah I would definitely like to see if you can actually modify or tune the S60 Polestar because it definitely needs an exhaust. All of the noise of the supercharger and turbocharger can only be heard outside of the car which is a little bit of a disappointment for a performance sedan but overall is just a very smooth driving experience. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let us know in the comments down below what you think of the S60 Polestar. Comment all of that down below. Follow us on Instagram for regular uh, news updates and to see more awesome content of ours. Also, do check out TDH Motorsports, which is a brand new channel which is only dedicated to the world of motorsport like Formula 1, WRC, Le Mans, MotoGP and all of that stuff. Do subscribe to that channel as well and I'll catch you in the next one.